a little chilly in here in New York City. <gasps> this weather changed so fast. It sure was just did. like 70s in Boston. I know. But, but it's still sunny out, so it's nice. It's you sunny. know, it's like that crisp, fresh air. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little too crisp for me. <laughs> I came to New York this week because it was her birthday. So I came here to spend some time with her and celebrate 26 years of life. Yes, 26. It just flew by, guys. Do I feel the same? Yes. <laughs> I was about to say, how do you feel? Do you feel any older? No, don't feel any older. If you're younger and you imagine yourself at 26, is this how you imagine your life would be? Not even close. It isn't how I imagine my life to be. You know, I'm not working full time anymore, as you guys know. Um, I'm in New York. I didn't know I would be here. My family's not here. I'm like by myself most of the oh, time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> unless I come to visit. No, unless sorry. I'm with Isabel. Oh, but no, um, we... yeah, so this definitely isn't how I pictured life, but I'm really happy with where I am today, you know? And enjoying the journey and the process. Yes, the journey, the freelance journey, the creative journey, all the journeys that we have throughout life. Uh, and I think it's important that when we're setting goals, because you know sometimes we're always like setting goals that we want for ourselves, yeah. and then we think that we're gonna be happy once we reach that goal. We're like, well, once I pay off all this debt, or once I move to New York City, then I'll be happy. Yeah, but well, let me get comfortable, you mind? Oh yeah, uh, sure, you're sorry guys. <laughs> But really, it's in the journey. Remember when we were talking about this earlier? Definitely in the journey. It's not really like a destination. It's just every step of the way, you just being happy, you trying to reach that goal is actually the goal. Um, okay. She's trying to steal all the light, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, you got to get that light right. Oh, God. But it's just like that journey. They say um, when you're going to the top of a mountain, it's not really about you being at the top of the mountain and seeing the view. Once you get there, it's mainly about the journey that takes you to the top of the mountain. So the hike the you know all these things that you're passing by the bugs. The bugs, all these things that's there you know that may be annoying or stressful in the moment but then you know they're a part of the journey and that's what makes the journey beautiful you know the you getting past all those things that's oh i love how you said that because sometimes we always think that once we arrive to the destination then we'll be happy right once we become debt free once we save a certain amount once we move to a new city or once, once you we become a freelancer and your free own boss yeah <laughs> or once you're in a relationship you think then i'll be happy but it's really just a journey is that's where the happiness come from exactly and i realized that once i paid off one of my student loan debts, y'all see I thought, how this lighting is hitting her though and i'm just <laughs> off in the shadows can no, i just can i just throw that up not there? in the shadows you're right. still in the light girl stop <laughs> i realized that once i paid off one of my student loan debts i was just like <laughs> i thought that i would be happier but i was just like it wasn't it wasn't the case and like once i reached that that goal and now i'm still not debt free but once i paid off one of my student loans <laughs> yeah i'm like still trying to find the light i know like, like there was no confetti there was no parade it was just like okay i paid off one loan that's it so like I the next goal yeah it's, that's why you have to constantly keep setting goals even when i become debt free it's gonna be like okay now now what mm -hmm. so i think it's important that like you said it's in the journey that is that is the journey itself it's growing. not actually the goal <laughs> yes it's growing every day finding areas in your life where you can improve Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> We will do the same thing. 26? I'm going to be turning 28, girl. She about to be 28. She about to, she about to front for the video. Stop. 28, girl. I'm not front. But it's be beautiful that, you know, we get to reach these ages and we're aware and we're, you know, constantly growing and we have a, a path that we want to take. And I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. that's beautiful that we... That we that we know the direction that we want it. Because even, like, the bad is working out for your good. And I always say that because... Everything is leading and creating you to your master plan. Nothing ends badly, you know? The, the end goal of everything is good. Like, God is always going to provide. Yes, You have is. to believe that. Definitely, you have to believe. You have to have faith in the journey, in the process, everything that you're going through, and the goals that you're setting. Exactly. And then just taking action and reaching those goals. Yes. I you have to have faith in yourself as well. Like, you just have to know your talents, know your creativities, know what you're good at. You know what I mean? And believe in it. Because if you don't believe in it, nobody else is going to believe in it. Nope. Focusing on your strengths. I feel like all of our videos be like positivity. I don't even, we didn't even have a topic. We're just like, let's just turn <laughs> just the camera rambling. on it. We're just rambling and talking. Like, on a Saturday, we, we woke up, did some cleaning. We're like, let's just do a video on this Saturday afternoon with this lighting before the sun goes down. Yes. But anyway, we're probably going to get ready to go soon. What are we going to do for the rest of the day? Um, We're going to go... Should we go see that Get Out movie? 
We're thinking about it. Well, I don't know. Everyone's saying scared. it's like the best movie, but I don't know. I'm still kind of scared. I can't lie. I've seen the trailer. I'm like covering my eyes, so I can't imagine <laughs> seeing the film itself. I think we got to go do it. I don't know. If we do it, we'll let you know. We'll let y'all know. Yes. And what about the empanada truck? You said there was some empanadas. I, think, I don't know if they're going to be there anymore. They're not open? What's well, I think they stop at like four. Damn. So we can had we to record it? this video for you guys. So we sacrificed empanadas we sacrificed. so we can make this video for y'all. All right. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so great. Rest of your Saturday. Yes. Be happy. Be blessed. Enjoy it. Get some fresh air, like I said earlier. And relax too. It's not always about the hustle and the grind. Make sure you get some time, some new time, some self care. Get some time for you. Yes. Some self care and self care. Head over to my website. It's melissalatham.com. You can also follow me on Instagram where I try to post consistently on, you know, positivity, motivation, and topics on growth. Yes. And for more inspiration and money tips you guys know where you can go you can head over to youngyetwise.com i'm about to head out guys i'll see y'all later yes wait let me get some good lighting for you <laughs> it's gonna take all the good lighting y'all see it now see you in the shadows <laughs> bye guys <laughs>